Wow. Some space and that. We're up in the Lake District or somewhere like that. And uh, we're bugging out because of the COVID, so we're gonna we're gonna hide in a mine for the next three months. But plenty of room. Man. Is yeah. this is this a copper mine or slate mine? That's oh, what I want to know. Oh, copper. Okay. Because mm -hmm. I did my research, so like I, I I brought my respirator mask, but I only I only need it for a slate mine, not yeah. for a copper mine. Because mm. like I I, I just always those. worry about my lungs. Cause I've been exposed way too many times What's with the mold and asbestos. What's in a slate mine that's different to a copper mine then? Apparently, the slate uh, dust is is more harmful than copper dust, and it doesn't really right. like affect your lungs. Okay. I don't. That's what they said. I read online, but I kind of had a feeling I didn't need a a, a mask for copper mine too. Cool. Like, I kind of just felt like it. That's us fault then, Dan. I mean, you, we've been in loads of slate mines. Yeah. I mean, well, you got to think about it. Think about the people in Italy that all got screwed over over the years because their country never gave them masks, and they were learning about it still. And now, like half. Wait, now, like 20% of all the old Ital Italians like, have just lungs problems. I don't remember, they were in every day though, weren't they? Yeah, they were though. No, they were, they were. That's but, the thing you got to remember about it. Yeah. yeah, but I've also been around an abandoned place with dust or mold or asbestos over 700 times. Yeah. And so I don't know how many times it would take, but I mean, luckily we're still young and I, and I you know, jog and run around and try to get it out, but I don't know. I'm not trying to die at 50, so if I can prevent it, I'll put a mask on. Yep. Well, the place where they uh, make it, Asbest, which is a place called Asbest in Russia, which it comes from, um, they all die there, the people who sort of like dying in massive numbers. But they're still producing massive uh, amounts of this stuff, and they sell it to new con developing yeah. countries like India. Yeah, they do. So it's all still in use. Yo, well, we use it in the US still. No way. Yeah, asbestos. We Trump brought it back, well, I think, last year. Uh, we, ban we we stopped using it in all buildings, but I guess in certain uh, situations, he brought it back for some reason. That I don't know too much in detail, yeah. but it is back. Well, it's a good fire retardant, but it I mean, is yeah, it, is. it has to be like encased so you can't get access to it. Like, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I have no clue on it. See, Dan, Dan's got asbestos underpants for all this uh, fast driving he does. I don't drive fast. Yeah. <laughs> he says as we like doing 60 G's around these small lane corners, yeah. Right behind us on our ass. <laughs> so go behind us. Yeah, we're trying to lose our tail. We got a we got a YouTube yeah, like YouTube like stalker who knows that Josh is in the country. We've got to we gotta lose lose his lose his ass. <laughs> wow. This is the view. Dude, we're in, we're in a, yeah. a village right now. This is this is basically the whole fucking fable was based on here around the very old, think, old Cumbria and that, yeah. The thing is, every time every time Dan Dixon brings us to a, such a idyllic looking place, you know you're gonna get like in freezing cold water and, and a kraken and boats and jagged, jagged rocks and yeah, trains trying to hit you. What if we didn't do that? Yeah. Do you know what though, the, the sense of threat I felt when we were in that stand edge tunnels, right? I was like, shit, this could kick off and we're gonna die because this is there's nowhere to hold on to. So if you fall in that water, you're screwed because it's so cold and you're screwed. Somebody said to me, do you know how deep it is? And I was like, nah. And he said, oh, it's about two foot. It's about two foot deep. Apparently, stand edge tunnels. We were all shitting ourselves. Like, what would what happen if the boat went down? What would happen? Apparently, you could stand up in it. <laughs> So our legs would be freezing, but we could walk out to the bastard. But the, the level of tension was real, because I didn't know that. I, I thought it's know. I thought it's going to be proper, like wading, you know, like trying to keep yourself afloat till your body like packs up I and it's a lot deeper. You're screwed. Don't forget, we had the we had the oars in the water. Yeah, and, and I don't remember touching the floor with an oar, and now the oar was three foot long. Oh shit! So it's got to be deep. Oh, yeah, Maybe I I think we were safer inside the boat. Maybe in summer it was a shallow. It takes two batteries, last like two hours. Wow. Alright, I'll come back in. We can start the video now. Come on, guys. That's the lens you need, right, Let's We're going to have to put this in off road mode now. We're going to have to jack the car up so it goes higher. Let's go. Right, the road change. What? The road change. The road's right. change, yeah. Right. Dan, do you recommend anyone doing what we're about to do? No, never. Never. Ever. Alright. Ever. <laughs> Dude.
we, we're gonna get inside I this mountain. I honestly can't believe it still feels like fall out here. Wow. You're crazy by holding your camera out the window. Yeah, you know what? I can, I can fly the drone when we're up there. Yep. I wasn't thinking. Bro, my shoes got wet. Yo, got wet. Somehow my shoes got wet. Oh my God. God. I, I don't know. What is it? <laughs> I not... want to see the sheep. Excuse me, sir. Is this the right way to the copper mine? <laughs> ah! Well, it actually only went in my leg, bro. It never went anywhere on your stuff. This is a bumpy road, boys. I started to think that uh, Josh might have had a little bit of pee pee come out yeah. by mistake. Yeah, it was yeah. coffee. Trying to yeah. blame it on the coffee. Definitely <laughs> gingerbread. I <can> smell a lot. <laughs> The guy down there. What's he doing? Anytime you go for a pee anywhere in the world, there's always some walker somewhere. Somewhere, yeah. Every time you to go to get your tackle out and have a pee, there's somebody like that guy down there spying on you, making sure you don't get up to shit. Um, we're in a place called Coniston. Now, Coniston was famous for, for mining, especially copper mines. So, um, up, up uh, over the valley is uh, some of the most dangerous copper mines. Ever. I mean, every copper mine is dangerous now. They're not like slate mines where you drill through through all the slate and it's perfectly fine. With the copper mines, you drill, drill these small tunnels, okay? And when the tunnel collapses, instead of digging down stuff, they're just like, okay, we'll go over it. Or they'll go around it. And that's all they do. And so the, the copper mines are just intertwining tunnels all over and they're collapsing constantly on each other. So it's, it's super dangerous in there. We will see many, many collapses while we're walking around these mines. Super dangerous. Don't advise anyone doing this unless you're someone who's done it before. That was beautiful. So, a no, pr I professional, didn't. so professional. I'm going to leave it. Might leave it to the professionals. <laughs> I, I, I come, bro. It's going to be. Fun. I might come, but there's going to come a point where I'm going to go. Do you know what? I leave it to the professionals. Yeah, no. I'll just borrow your footage in there and you know I'll dub it. I'll it dub it so it looks like it's mine. You know what it is, Matthew? I yeah. was once an amateur and I think you turned me into the professional I am today. Yeah. And now it's just that typical moment, you know, where yeah. the, the student overtakes the seafood. I, 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 and, that's right. You know, I, I, well, we, I we gave, don't gave him a taste of the drug of like mines and he was like, I'm never doing this again. And now look at him, he's a bloody addict. I, I'll never forget that. You got me yeah. lost in Earth if you want in the caution <laughs> mine. Yeah. Uh, and I did say, I remember saying, <laughs> Never doing I'm this never again. Never doing this again. Yeah, never. I've always been lost in there, boys. Not fair. Yeah. And, uh, and now, yeah, I, don't, I just don't stop. Yep. Just don't stop. Excellent. Here it is, monster machine, monster machine, and uh, well, everyone's coming up here by the looks of it. Can't wait to do something. No one's allowed up here, but everyone's coming up no, there. No, there's actually a, a hostel. Um, I'm ah, the right. Yeah, what's up? And we always do the underground stuff, guys. You already know. Yeah. The next one fighters love the underground stuff. And uh, so I, I dressed as a clown, and Matthew Williams is dressed as uh, the classic uh, tree cutter. Bin man. You look, you look like a lumberjack. I know, it's a lumberjack look, yeah. But look, I've got, I got posh trousers on, I'm going to wreck these. Look, proper, proper wreck, wreck those nice trousers. No orange shit today. I know, yeah, oh yeah, I don't feel lucky. Maybe you shouldn't come into the mine, you've not got your oh, lucky camos on. L lucky camos, yeah. <laughs> Yep, how you doing, ma'am? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm yeah. a bit nervous, but I'm looking forward to it. I saw you like. put a post on on the group saying, I am bored and I have not got work right now. Yeah. And that was like earlier on today. And look, now here, you're coming on this. Yeah. Madness. Now, now look at you. You, yeah. yourself in you, you wish you'd never death. asked now, eh? That's the way. <laughs> oh, yeah. Grim Reaper is now looking yeah. over you. Congratulations. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Whoa! It's called Dev. Death Valley now though. Death Valley. Oh, check out the white house in the distance. Oh, this is actually crazy. Why is this like the place where we went swimming? On the first it is. road trip. It is up there. See that stream On the up first there. road trip. It is, yeah, isn't it? up there. That's the where it is. First lake road trip. This is where we went swimming. Where we found the swim bit. As if we didn't go anywhere. Yeah, I know. Well, yeah, but we, we went hardcore weird. back then. Yeah. Weird old looking place. Yeah. Little house in its own. Dug there. out. Wait till you see the road we drive on in a minute, bro. It's it's scary. Well, yeah, we actually went swimming on the first one of the first oh. lakes road trips. Wait till you see this road uh, road in a minute, bro. It's scary as hell. Is it? Yeah, it's scary, bro. I can't believe there's actually a couple of houses up here as well. Whoa, it's 
quite exclusive. I'll probably kill us all. <laughs> oh, this is good fun, boys. I love this. I don't know. I mean, this has to be the way, right? I mean, I, I, I think it's crazy. I like it. I just don't know if this is the way, right? I don't know. I don't think I remember coming this way. Hang on, hang on. How far away from the edge are we there, oh, bro? Right. Oh, we're fine here, bro. We're oh, fine yeah. here. Hey, yeah. I tell you what, this next bit is just pushing. Dan, let me out a minute. Bye. Let me out. Open this door. Wait, let this get past this one first. Yeah, no, no, no. That is in. that is next level. No, I want to watch you do it, but I'm not even in the car for Why this, mate. This you I'm going to walk this bit. You can do it if you want. That is tight. That is tight. That is seriously tight. Go on, Em. I'm gonna watch him do it. So if we die, you're watching. I'm gonna watch you roll. I'll be the. I'll, I'll make loads of money out of this footage, man. No, we're not gonna die. I don't think. Go on, Em. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you're almost nice on knowing, the edge, bro. It's nice you knowing you. Out. It was nice knowing you. It was really good knowing you. Oh, we're good, bro. You've got, you got plenty, actually. You're all right. I don't know. My brain, my brain was telling me no then on this, but then I'm not driving it. Yeah, it's not too bad, is it? Really, I feel like a tit now. But at least I'm going to be a live tit. See ya. <laughs> okay. It is pretty tight, though. Look where he's had to like come up there. Yeah. Because, you know... Oh, well. Maybe I was being a bit silly. You're going to let me back in, then? <laughs> Don't let me in, now. All right, sorry. My brain was just going like, No! <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's all good fun, bro. You <laughs> on that car, man, on this car, bro. It's the thing. Dan is going to take us to the next level. It's called heaven, right? <laughs> but, um, yeah. Right, I'm pretty sure we've got to go with this one now. Right there. Off, off the cliff, That's bro. It. Right you to can't. The entrance, boys. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Right there. Oh, oh my That's god. The no way. No way. Whoa, I can smell clutch. Smell that clutch. It all smells wow. here, boys. <laughs> <laughs> He's a mad Yo, man. Honestly, those tires saved us. You got out there and the car lurched backwards, man. Yeah, no, I'm happy with that. <laughs> He's happy with the car yeah, going off the cliff. Yeah. Down, right? that was great. I mean, so that's yeah. an achievement. I mean, look, yeah. well, how many other Q7s do you see coming up this? None, no, because oh, there's a reason. Any, I don't see any luxury SUVs coming up here. Yeah, well, <laughs> I don't think they're quite rated for you, sort of like crazy. <laughs> nice views, though. And we have Dan Dixon. Nice view. And Dan Dixon. In, yes, the same thing. It's a nice view, and Dan. I think that's a good time, Yes, us. Nice view. Nice view. Vu. I see. You see the problem here? This is the belt we were talking about. Yo, it really does fit. Holy shoot. When you take it off, you'll have a surprise. Uh, you know what? I gotta pee before this happens. <laughs> I gotta pee really quick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is how I'll remember Josh. You know, when when we're old and grey, it's just like this picture of Urbex perfection, NCB suits, and peeing yeah, in the Yorkshire Dales with exploring with Josh. Mountain goats. Wow. Let's do it. Wow. Well, da, 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 da. You've got Josh and you've got Dan in the hazmat suits. This is so cool. Uh, we are in the uh, the Long John's <laughs> uh, bucket. And the secret roller. I'm bringing up the rear. With all these cameras. I mean, look how many cameras he's got. He's got his. What is this? Head cam, here? butt cam. Yeah. And I'm, I'm walking behind everybody so I can uh, catch. You've even got this one in your hand. 360 degrees of butt. So this is the camera guy, guys. And we've got me. And I'm tired today, guys. It's been like three days straight just filming, uh, having all my stuff, exploring stuff. Oh, I hear it now. We're in the ground mine. We are interested right now. Oh. 
về điểm tốt thì đó He brought us to the wrong mind. No. You're having a laugh. Wrong mind. Wrong mind. Wrong mind. Get out of here. Let's go. This is giving me great confidence now. Yeah. Dan, you're our guy, bro. Hey. Oh, dear. Over here, boys. Oh. Oh, it is. Oh, different mind. Two mines next to each other. Different mine, oh my god. That's the mine that we use the underwater drone for. Right. And and this one is the uh, death mine. Okay, death doke. mine. Okay, this is the right mine. Um, yeah, sorry guys. When I was here last, it was pitch black. Right, this is the right mine. I did think, because I remembered th this mine is a lot more flooded, a lot more water. Than that one. I just go in. So it's kind of like it's been raining a hell of a lot, and this is not very flooded. So I was worried me a little bit because it was a, a sinkhole. Dan only recognises a, a really deep hole at night. I just like deep holes. In the days out of his depth. We are going to be, uh, yeah. We are going to be heading into the moon right now, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Quite a few people have lost their lives here. Ready, Josh? Back when they were mining and stuff. Yeah. We had to really crawl. Oh god, I'm, I'm going to enjoy this. <laughs> How are you feeling, Matt? I want to crawl. I really don't want to do that. Yeah, you can turn back now. Roll. What? You can turn back now. I got the keys for the car, you know. I'm sort of. I think I'm probably going to need them in a bit. Yeah. 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 Go on, Josh. First time in the UK. Doing really well. Having a taste of it. Whoa! Whoa! No. I can't be crawling this distance with my leg the way it is. Screw this. Screw this. This is memories of the Paris catacombs. I don't want. Oh, God. Please let it get taller. That's a bit better. A little bit better. Oh. Yep. Woo. At least we can stand up. That's the that's the main thing. We can stand up. Be careful. Yeah, even even though the water is really watch out for the key foot in there. Okay. 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 Structure. Holy crap. Yeah. Yo, what the fuck? Minor 49er. I'm falling No. Guys, some, some say it's about 400 foot down. Dude, uh, wait. I have a great thumbnail. Can you take this? Someone, has, this is the start of my video. Try and shine it down, down that hole. If anyone can. How's that? 
Danny, Danny going over. Oh, yeah. What's he doing? Doing mentalist. Working together with someone, or, or the, the crew's too reckless, and you're smart. Just don't even bother doing it. It's just not worth getting hurt over. Um, I would never have done this unless I was, if I thought I wasn't safe. Even though it looks dangerous, and it is, I just know that I feel safe, so I know my limits. Well, I'm good. Whoa, shit! Wow. Oh, it is. Come on, Josh, you can do it, bro. Come on, do it. That drop is horrible. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't dying yet, boys. We ain't dying yet. It's wrong to be this forever. That's 100%. Okay. But well, I got one minute of 360 camera, so let's make the best of it. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at that down there. Oh, oh that's not good. Take my time. No rush. Bouncy, bouncy. Oh. Oh, I'm not sure about that. That's my 360 just gone down. <laughs> Oh my god! Ooh. Good job, bro. These waders are feeling a bit heavier now, it's so really I don't know what it is. If yeah. You fall down this, you're dead. I think I may I need to empty my waders in a minute, boys. Yeah. Oops, sorry. Go on, Danny. Go on, Danny. Come on. You got this, dude. You can do it. Let's go. You can do it, Danny. Come on, Danny. You can do it. You, nah, you got this. If you can't, you, I don't want to make you do something you don't want to do. Don't worry, if you don't want to do it, you don't have to. It might be better to choose him. Yeah, keep your hand on the wire. Drop the keys to the car, Danny. Oh, he's doing it. Alright. Oh, this is me to be nervous. This is. If you don't want to do it, you don't have to. Ooh. Watch your head. Don't yeah. your head. Bro, whatever you do, hold, hold that line properly. Don't just have it. Don't just have finger. it in your fingers. Oh, grip it round, yeah, right round your hand. Because that won't support you. I'll just rip your finger. Watch off. your head. Watch Keep your head. Boys, I'm coming. All Watch right. your head. Good job. Cool. Now on to next. Oh wow. It's just like the adrenaline rush now. Right. Next. Whoa. This is one you have to be careful. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Everyone come here and gather around. I need to talk to you about this. This is not secured. Right. It is pipes. Mm hmm. Okay, right. Everyone needs to listen to this. Do not jolt on this one. This one is three rusty pipes that are not secured, they're just embedded into the mud, okay? So uh, a jolt may dislodge them and you will go down into the underground with it. So okay. be very, very careful. Literally you're going down with the Kraken. And also there's another thing as well to look out for. On this, on the rope on here, I can't even see yet. There is a snake. It's not a rope, it's just like the, the climbing okay. rope there. There's a snake on it, which means there's a frayed wire. Now, just keep an eye on it when you're walking along. Let go at that point, otherwise it will keep your finger open. So. Keep it, keep it down that. It's a bit further down, but there is a snake in the wire. So, so by snake, you need a rip? Yeah, it's, oh, okay. it's, okay. it's okay. frayed off and it will cut your finger, your hand off. It'll hurt. I'm okay. Mm. Right. Just, uh, right now, guys, just be very careful. careful. And the middle, the middle pipe... Just embedded in the ground. And could go at any time. The middle pipe is uh, dislodged already, and it's wobbly. Okay? So be careful on that. It might move a little bit. Just be worried about, worried about. And remember, if uh, things start to go funny, drop your camera, because it's it's not worth it's not worth a camera, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just I, just lose the camera if something goes wrong, because it's just hold on. Yeah, this one's uh, this is a really long one. Yeah, last one. This is a longer one. He's going to be very careful because it's hell of a matter. We'll both move too fast. Okay. 
Brilliant. And it's the end yeah. for worship, okay? Okay. At the end, it's quite like, because uh, the eyes are washing each other. Have a look, and not look down. Be very careful on these ones, honestly. No joking. Slow and steady wins the race. I'm just not looking down. <laughs> that too, that too. You keep rising the pipes. Because look at the end when they've split apart. I see, I see, yeah. Yeah, watch that. Yeah, it's just after that. This rock here is great for it. I've just got the ammo on it. Oh, just now? Yeah, just after this point, we'll round the rock. Okay. You can go if you want to. Well, uh, I don't know if I want to. I may have to. Yeah, true, true. Right, let's get my camera down so you can see the, see the feet and the hole. It goes to absolutely nowhere. There's a chasm, and beyond that chasm is just nothing. You can't see. There is no bottom. 400. Might as well be 4,000. Ooh. They say that if you fall down it, you have time on your way down to rethink your life. Oh, come on. You'll probably, it'd probably be like that, that movie where you, you just end up resetting and you come back and do it again and again and again and again for infinity, Dan. <laughs> That's what you brought me to. You're welcome. Thank you. Whoa. Hey, I didn't feel that snake thing, though. No, I didn't. Oh. Josh is coming. Frankie, your feet on two pipes at all times, not just one. Uh, yeah, they, yeah, they're two sides, like yeah, side sides, yeah. Just watch after this rock here, that's where it's frayed a bit. That's where you can cut yourself. After this rock? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Around the way from this, the snake. You can't see it though, right? No, really. Oh, I felt it. Okay. Now watch them pipes there, because they're split apart. Just over. Oh my god, jeez. Hey, heart rate, not then, Josh. Yeah, that was scary. Welcome to the UK, Josh. Yeah, this that was scary, dude. That was seriously scary. Oh my god. Let's get Danny. in. I literally said I'm going to do this and here I am what's wrong with my head it's amazing what a bit of peer pressure will do I only wedged into the rock but not actually right into the rock but just wedged against it yeah. Something really sharp just goes right into my finger. Oh, yeah. You, oh, you felt it? Hold on to that wire, though, dude. Uh, check it when you get off there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, we saw a couple of drop guys. I was not yeah, so by snake. Mm -hmm. And there was something sharp and sticking out. I felt it. It was tapping. Yeah, I was looking for it. Everyone's like, I threw you off and made you want to talk. But luckily, we made it. We just did two. I made it. Yeah, two of this one. That was nice. there. And I think this is like proper exploring, especially in mines. This is great. Come on. Right, just keep your eyes on all this kind of stuff here. Look at this on the walls. Yeah, you can this see all is, different colors and stuff. It's oxidization from the, from the yeah, copper. Sure. So that's bad. And, well, actually, this is oxidized, oxidization from the iron. This, this is iron. When you start seeing the green, that's the copper. Huh. Look at these different colour formations on the wall. Oh, look at that thing, eh? Now, this was a whole copper mine. Then, I don't think I like it. I don't know. 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 I don't
Sticks in there. Well, this, no, this is actually where they drilled in. They didn't, they didn't explode these bits because um, in the copper mines they couldn't do it because they were too fragile because they intertwined into little. So these are actually drill marks. You'll see the you'll see the dynamite walls, mm -hmm. which is the black. You see the blast radius. On Well, there's no way I would have been able to have done this two weeks ago because I would have literally split my uh, stitches open by now but luckily my stitches have healed enough to kind of allow me to to do this I want to wear a helmet in these I actually wanted to bring a helmet like it's the best thing to do really yeah to be honest I, I would always get back to board and have a helmet which is stupid we just don't wear anything. well when we did the car cave a lot of people was like why don't you just bring a harness and harness down uh, because my, now on that video I did see that video you can't do it because if you remember right at the beginning of the video, there was that rusty chain we saw on the platform, that. and it was that rusty, it frayed off into the line violins. Now imagine the hooks. The hooks have been there for over 100 years and they're rusty as hell. Would you support, trust supporting your way? Or I mean, support? I wouldn't. No way. Yeah. I'd rather trust myself. Yeah, I ain't doing that. Yeah, no way. By the way, if you have not seen the Car Cave video, type in Abandoned Car Cave UK. To see my video pop up, to see everyone's video pop up. We've all been there. One of the coolest abandoned places I've ever seen in my life. It looks like a cave, it looks like a bunch of cars in there. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad we got this suit. I'm not even going to be dirty. Huh. You're getting swept in that Yeah. Whoa. Slip, slipped a bit.
There's actually a cave you stood on. That's just a cave in there. And it's all kind of behind it. And the roof is on it. I think it's caught me in the middle of whatever they're for. We've got them support beams before then, Matthew. Those, believe it or not, a lot of people think that those beams are to stop the stop the thing from caving in. It's not. It's so you hear it caving in. Oh, so you hear it caving in. Yeah, yeah, because often these rocks can move in and you won't know they're going. But these things are going to crack, 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 crack. And that's the, that's the sign to get out quick. Yeah, so it's sort of a warning thing. It's a warning. It's actually a good idea, isn't it? Because they'll never hold... You imagine these things are just like toothpicks. Yeah. They'd never hold these rocks if they were moving, no, but they let you know. Yeah. They make noise. So these could move at any given time, couldn't they? Yep. So that's like what I'm told. And stuff. If anyone wants to refute that and say that I'm wrong, that's cool. Tell us in the comments. But that's what I was told by some cavers. It's not about supports. They're not there to support stuff because they're not strong enough. Sorry, yeah. just turn myself onto my camera. Yeah. Early Ghostbusters. Because we don't look like a bunch of women, do we? Whoa, drippers. Drippers from hell. Wow. Looking good. Get a bit of light in this situation. That's uh, Jeff Wayne's version of War of the Worlds, yeah. You're an alien guy. He's trying yeah. to describe a, an old alien movie to us. Uh, but, uh, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> describe it. <to laughs> you. Describe it. It's just got that. The, all the all the world that the army is against is just these aliens. I think it's troopers or something like that. Starship troopers. They go to an alien planet where they're bug creatures. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. That's yeah. yeah. And. And the the creature in it. Have you seen? Have you seen the creature? Yeah. It's got like all the eyes around it, and yeah. it's got this like mouth, and it looks like yeah, yeah. a vagina yeah, yeah. with a clitoris. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that was the creature. It was so a clitoris mouth like, alien. Like an eel in the battle. In yeah. The <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you alright Dan? Yeah, I'm okay, go. You're going down? Down into the left side. Okay. Yeah, so I did not bring my tripod for this one. I wanted to get some of the shots, but honestly, I just didn't trust my tripod for the middle of climbing and different things. And it's safe to actually grip. No, I'm going for all. You can do. We're not doing them. <laughs> I'm going to lock, lock my camera onto my shoulder in case I drop it. Clipped in. 
we have clipped in Mm. <clears throat> the bit I wasn't really looking forward to here was like going up to your waist in bloody water. Oh, crawl space, no. I don't like crawls. Because they make my back hurt. And they make me stretch my leg. And I got stitches. So, I don't want to be uh, stretching my leg. No railway tracks. Can you tell me that? Oh, What? What are you doing? Oh, you're not going down there. You're not going down there, surely. Yeah. What? Why are you going down there for? Carry on going down, down, and down. It's a bit mad, isn't it? I thought you was in it to the madness. Yeah, but like that's pretty steep. <laughs> I agree. Well, I mean, if you're gonna do it, I'll watch from here, and, and then if you do it, maybe I'll come Well, this down. is the one thing I wanted to harness for, just in case it's slip and fall. Yeah, because it'll tie goes into the hole at the bottom. That's yeah. saying, we don't know how big that <laughs> hole is down there. That's the problem. Obviously, so right down. there. So uh, once upon a time, there used to be a tunnel that used to run down there, and obviously it's all collapsed and left these. Yeah, look. Just that just again. drops, man. That's just a cliff edge down there. Maybe you do need a harness to get yeah. down. You can try it, dude. Just it down there. You should go check it out. So we'll, we'll go and do these ones, and then we'll come back, and I'll see how I feel on it. Okay. It looks cool, though. I like just how the railway just kind of ends. Yeah. It's, it's like, like a Looney Tunes. Yeah, the Looney Tunes just tracks ends and they go off yeah. the edge. Yeah. So putting games and things like that. <laughs> like the Goonies. Yeah. Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. If you guys, there's no more Indiana Jones now, is it? Yeah. So, in Indiana Dixon. <laughs> Holding up pipes, apparently. What did that do? Holding up pipes. Yeah, so I think these things here were probably the water pipes. You have water pipes, you have air for hydraulic um, stuff yeah. as well, and uh, electric. You don't want the electric going in the water. That's cool. I'm learning. I'm learning about mines now, guys. I'm a chemist now. When you, when you add it up, Josh, you, you know, 
like in terms of experience, each one of us has literally got like weeks of experience of mining, mate, and caving, weeks. You add it up, like, some people have only got like a days of their experience, but we've literally got weeks. That's why we're the experts. <laughs> I think you're right. Yeah. I wouldn't do this to anyone else, I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah. No, no, I'm not going out with no one day explorer. <laughs> Mind yeah. explorers, one day experience explorers. Okay, we're just talking about like, <laughs> cave experience and like how like, they got, you know, and I was like, I wouldn't go anywhere else. Do this stuff and let's hear you pay. Unless people do this and have to do the and they're actually good and they measure all the time, so it's all the way down. All the way, all the way. It's like a line, but it, it looks like it's a drip line as well. But I can't imagine why that would be there, but it's a straight, look, still carrying on. Have you noticed this white line in the ceiling above us? It just keeps going. If you look up, it's like a white seam line, and it just keeps going and going and going above us. I don't know, but it's been following us the whole way. It's like a seam line. All right. They follow the seam, and that's what they do. When they cut the seam, yeah. so they got, they got like good, they got good uh, Yep. Straight line going right the way through everywhere we walk. Crazy. Dan, is there like a mine cart here? I think there's a mine cart. Part of it? Yeah, I don't see a mine cart. Where do you find it? The more it's mine, the more it's mine. Right. Yeah, this is Minecraft, but it, it's not the 8-bit version, this is the 64-bit version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Minecraft 64. Yeah, but would you say this is real-life Minecraft? It's a good simulation of it, I think we're in a good, good simulation, yeah. Okay. I can hear water or something, can you? Is that water I can hear or is it just reverberation? Well now it's changing a bit, it's like way more red and all that. No, no, it's reverberation. Is that a good thing? Yeah, it could be. Get flushed, I it. Get flushed out of here. Is it sulfur or gas? Gas, sulfur. Because you can't smell gas. Gas yeah. has what no about? smell. Yeah. See what, let me take the so, down. You can know, smell gas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,
go and get. I've got his. I've got his car keys, so I can eventually now drive his car. This is, this is how it's going to happen. If Dan doesn't come back, I get to drive his car. Yeah. No, it's dodgy. It's dodgy. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to go and quickly get a look at Holy Breath, you won't get a look at that. It's a sulfur lake. No way. Oh, well, that's what you're smelling, it's sulfur. Yeah. Why is sulfur dangerous? No, no. Not really. Sulfur's not dangerous, no. That's, what you, that's the stink you can smell, because you wouldn't smell gas. Well, then what? It smells like propane. So Guys, no, no. Do you know why propane smells like propane? Because right. they put sulfur in it to make oh. it smell, because otherwise so, your house would fill with gas and you wouldn't it, know. So they, they put stink in. Your, your house gas so that when it fills the house you go oh it's that smell which is just what you smelled up there yeah. that's safe it can't catch fire sulfur that's why I thought it was like a sulfurous smell what is it, what is it, what's the gases you can't have when you're in caves then when you're methane methane, 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 methane propane any of those they'll go up uh, well, carbon, carbon dioxide and all this is suffocating yeah yeah, but that, that's not a bad thing because I mean you, you you detected that smell right. and you thought gas because that's what you meant to right. do because that's yeah. what you've been trained to do because yeah. there's the sulfur they put in the gas yeah okay I'm right, going to take a look at that it's amazing you'll probably be all right it'll be a strong smell but it'll be all right Brown and that smells so strong. Yeah, I got um, sulfur soaps in the house, and yeah. they came from Harrogate. Le like, um, so it's a it's a thing up here. They like their sulfur. Yeah, that. That's a manky old lake, that isn't it? It doesn't even look like it's, it's got dirty. water in it. It's it dirty. Doesn't even look like it's moving. Yeah. It's that still. Look, you can see it all here. It's that still. It's, it's got that, skin on top stuff. of it. Yeah. Is that what it is? That stuff there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's skin it's on the top skin of the on surface. surface, yeah. We learn something new every day. Oh, it's all running down now. <laughs> oh, yeah, we started an avalanche. <laughs> well, that's, that's sulfur. You know, um, sulfur is the smell of witches. <laughs> so, so it's okay, you think? Sulfur, yeah, it's okay. What is sulfur it, like label like? What is it? Should, should I go show it? It's, yeah. uh, have a look at this, like a scum on the surface, like a brown yeah. scum. You'll be fine smelling it. Okay. It, that's the smell of witches and witchcraft. If you ever smell sulfur, they say it's an evil, an evil sign. Sulfur and brimstone. You good? Yep, I'm just getting out of there. Yeah. <laughs> I held my breath, that's why. Well, yeah, you don't get any demons into your th nostrils, then you'll be okay. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Damn it, we weren't able to possess Josh. We brought him to the biggest demon hole in Britain, and he didn't get didn't get a demon inside him. Yeah. Go back, Josh, have another look. <laughs> Sorry. Dan's getting all you know, melancholic, but that was... I'm, I'm actually taking this down, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know enough about this to say that it's safe. If you could smell sulfur, there may be something else in with it. I'll check on that. I will check. Well, I do feel okay about it right now. Yeah. I feel like it's weird, but I definitely don't want to around there. We might start turning on each other now and, and trying to eat each other. Yeah. <laughs> Are you talking about me behind my back? No, but it's the more slow you are, the more it's Oh. Yep. Nice speed. Not too, not too crazy. Yep. I 
Yeah. Well, I was I was knackered in the catacombs because you have to kneel down and crawl, and it's like so you can't, it's really hard. I had a big backpack on my back. I was crawling. I was cold and wet. Yeah. And you know, and it was like four or five hours of that, you know. And it was by the end of it, if you were walking, it would be okay. If you were walking in a straight line, but crawling with your back bent, oh, horrible. Now that's the real reason I don't, don't want to do the catacombs again, per se, um, because because it's just it's such hard work. Unless I put a GoPro on my head and I got my hands free and I got waders on. Maybe if I go back and do it with no, no equipment, just that, I'll be okay. But I was too, I had too much equipment, too many, too much bags. Somebody's probably dropped one up, up ahead, haven't they? Ooh, that's dangerous in a mine. They say, don't ever smoke in a mine. Well, yeah, could bring the roof down if you get an explosion. And there's no way it seems out of it, is there? Depends, depends. I mean, they some places they've just had to leave people because they just can't do anything. What do you just leave them? Well, some places, I mean, there have been children stuck in holes and, and they've been there with them for like two weeks, passing food down and and shouting to them and, and in the end they just like the kid stops making noise and that's it you know there's some places are just so awkward to, to get into you can't get the equipment in there and it's really sad but there was uh, there was a earthquake the other day and apparently a girl had been in in under, underground for two weeks and they found her alive trapped underneath yeah, rubble the yeah Two weeks, man. I mean, like you need to be, you need to have water. You know, you can't, you can't survive very long without water. She might have been drinking some water or something that was drip, dripping past her. Have you ever seen that film, Jessica? Which one? Where that baby is in the well, Oh, and it was a, it was a fake at the end. The baby wasn't in the well. Yeah, yeah. It's that one, yeah. I might have heard about it, I'm not sure if I've watched it. Yeah, you should watch it for just a while. Ah. Cool. 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 Right. So what they're seeing, isn't it? Yeah, they've uh, gone quite a way ahead, haven't they? I'm just happy, I'm not going to go. I'm just taking the time. Yep. Ooh. I'm glad I had my helmet on then. I just spat my head and I'm lucky I didn't feel a thing. It is, it's one of the things like I, 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 hit, I usually butt myself really badly twice. Like proper ringing, ringing in the ears like smack. So here we go, this is the dodgy. Dodgy, 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 dodgy. And there's a, the water goes down there and goes into the ground. It's pretty cool. Oh, and the train tracks just go off the edge into, into the abyss. Where would they have gone then? Would they have gone round the corner? Keep going and all around the corner. How the hell would they... How the hell would that have happened then? Yeah, I don't like all this... Uh, Squatting down crap. Banging my head again. That's the thing, see, I, I, instinctively I know I hate this because I bang my bloody head. My body just goes, I don't like this, don't do it. Crawling around. No, he's not going down, is he? Not going down, eh? This is like my first real, like, game sport. Hey Dan, you know back. Down, he just did it. Yeah, I'm gonna try to call him. 
I was going to say, back there, the rail, the rail tracks went around the corner over thin air. Yeah. So that must mean that in the past there was a there was a track there. I thought we were going to be going out. I was getting quite, uh, I was getting quite excited then. I was like, we're going home. Oh, oh, here we go. More, more head down crap. Right, here we go. I can't even. Oh, my knees at the moment. On my knees. Whoa. Oh, okay. It's getting deeper. It's getting a bit deeper, look. little sinkhole or a hole in the ground where everything drains off. Yeah, it's alright. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Dan, back there, the rails around the corner, they, they went off into thin air, but I don't think that they were meant to be like that. I think in the past there must have been, they went, they carried on on, on a surface. So it would, have, it would have gone around the corner. So that cavern probably curls around to the right. So I was just thinking that. They're trying to stop stuff from falling down. Yeah. Ready? I'm gonna put the light on. And look at that wood. Look how old that wood is. How green it is. Why is it green? The copper. The copper. Yeah. Now look at all the layer on top of that. All the years of two hundred years of wood. We're ready to just. Yeah. Go. Like this is done. This was all sat on wood as well. Wooden beams, and that's just a flat tree. Yeah, look how many levels there are there. Bro, look how many levels you can see. Oh, it keeps going further. Yeah, you can see all the different levels where it's collapsed through. Oh. Wow. Yeah, I'm going to try and get a look. Look at that. It's just level, level, levels. Wow. No way. No way. That is. Just goes and goes and goes. Whoa. Bit of water. Cool. Oh yeah, we're coming to a little weird. weird oh yeah, this is like old, old miner stuff. This. Yeah, random Nautica sent us here. What's what the hell? <laughs> Just walking through it. Oh, what's that? Oh, really? And a drop. Oh, they put a little bag in everything up there. Oh. Yeah. Feed. Bloody hell. Weird, isn't it? 
flat deck. Oh no, it's not. Flat deck. Something feed. Whoa, that that's a bit dropped. Oh, it's a it's a wooden wooden uh, thing. Oh, look at that. That's clear, look. Whoa, that goes up quite a way. Look at that going up quite a way. Hang on, ready? Oh. Goes up and up and up and up and up. Yeah, I don't know about that. No. I don't know. What do you think, Matthew? Um, I, I defer to idiocy. I will let the idiots decide. The less I know, the more I'm likely to go. So this is what's holding this whole thing together. And if you look at it, you can see it here. It just wipes it again. The rock on each side. I don't know. Yeah, what, what they often do with these, because I, be, I was told that these are not for wedging, because they cannot, they will not support. They're like toothpicks, yeah? Right. They will not support the movement of rock. Rock is just like, yeah. in, you know, it's just the ultimate, yeah? So what they are is to make noise because you don't hear the, croc the, the rock actually starting to move. It's quiet, but when you have these sticks in place, you hear them go crack, 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 crack. So it's a warning mechanism. It's to warn you. So if you knock one out of the way, the, the whole thing's not going to cave in, but it's to show you whether it's compressing. Right. So, anyway. This will go up. Okay. All right, we're gonna go up. Matthew Williams behind us just told us that these pipes are more this timber. Oh my! Matthew Williams just told us that these logs were like a warning mechanism. So pretty much, I, if rocks were like, or something was moving and it was gonna collapse, you're gonna hear the the cracking from the wood before you actually know about the uh, the whole collapse that would happen from the rocks. So it's like a warning mechanism. We're learning a lot. We remember this. Well, I guess I want to do more cave exploring later. We are doing two more cave explorers in the UK. This, this is one out of three mine videos that will be coming out. And each one has a special feature and is crazy. So the planks that we walk across. So the rock the next to the wood up the rock and the dragon's eye, which is right now. And then the other one is bought up. That's what's on the top. That's what's on the top of those wooden wooden beams we're holding. Oh wow. Just gets better and better, man. Yep. I've just been looking right now. And you notice this big boulder right here. It's already there he is, right the legend. It's ready to fall off that all the time. If this rock was to fall off, it would definitely um, kill probably all of us what's stuck here because it was just falling, it would crush us, and that will weigh some tons, guys. And that there is just scared me looking at it. Nobody could slip at any time. I mean, I'll, I'll go with that. Off I'll buy that for a dollar. I mean, yeah. Do you know what the, they say? Don't push on the walls, don't lean on the walls, don't shout, don't smoke. So those are the those are the rules. You wear a hard hat, don't smoke, don't lean on the walls. That's the big rules for caving. Mm. You have to you can you go on the floor, but you don't push and lean and. Well, what, what, what you are looking at? Yeah. This huge boulder. Show where Josh this boulder. You need to let the viewers see that. Well, you go. Well, then you go down. Yeah, drop. Well, when I get over there, I'll see where I see this. Down, and then the bottom one split, ready to 
here. If that started, if that started falling down, it comes to the floor, and we'd like to see now the Indiana Jones with all the guys for that whole world. Down there, secret little. There's another mine down there. Drill holes look good to them. One, two, three. They could be drilling, but they could also be sticking sticks of dynamite in there. And they, it was a very popular method of uh, dealing with these mines, was to just blast them out. Well, uh, speed up, I suppose. Changing colour, is it? It could be calcium deposits. Yeah, it's stalactite form. Yeah. So are these are little round holes, drill holes, or blast holes? We've got this white thing going on above us again, white line in the ceiling again. It's almost like is it is it a thing for good luck? I don't know. <laughs> a scrape mark. Scrape.
Say again? The same as bad as what the video made it look. I don't know. Uh, remember yeah. you were like, I don't know if I, I want to go. Yeah, I was like, the thing is, I think video sometimes does that. It kind of, you, you don't see what the eye sees. Right. And uh, I, people should be afraid of it. You know, don't get get that wrong. You know, people should definitely be afraid of coming in places like this. But yeah. I think it's because we've done it enough times. Once we see what we're looking at, we go, yeah, okay. I'm yeah, comfortable right. with that. But then when I see somebody doing it on a video and I'm sitting in their lounge, do you know there's a big part of me going, I'd rather just sit here in the lounge. What, what's on, what can we watch on YouTube? <laughs> Let's get the pizzas in, boys. Let's not go out. It's, it's cold outside. Once you get out there, it becomes, it becomes exciting. Sorry. <laughs> Cutting off there. Nah, that's cool. So what do you think this is? Just a custom wall? They call these deads. What they are is when they knock the rocks down, obviously they create a lot of little rocks so when they're smashing stuff down. So they put these walls up and they make them look like they're actually, for a reason they're not. What they are is the old spoils. So they're spoil stones and they call them deads and they create these walls out of them. But behind there, it's probably more like this. But it, they just built this up to get rid of them. So you don't get lost, so you don't go more in? No, no, it's, it's literally like this stuff would be knocked down as they're going in. But where do they do it? They can take it out, they can take it out of the mine, or they can oh, stack it up on the stack edges, it. stack it. So oh, they don't I have see. to take it away. Okay, no, that makes sense. Yeah. All that extra work, you move it, you can just leave it in. So yeah. Stack Stacked away. Can you call it dead? A dead, yeah. That's a dead. They're the deads. They're learning. These are probably falls, recent falls. They wouldn't have had those there in the day. These are recent falls that have been falling down from up there. You think so, just because? Yeah, yeah, and they probably wanted to stop them falling, which is why they put that up there, but the wood is now rotted, so they've fallen down. But they would have never been able to use the railway tracks with that stuff in the way, but oh, right. they might have put it in the railway cart, taken it down there, and added it to the deads at the bottom. So this could be like 60 years old, maybe? Could be. <laughs> Looks like a bit of subsidence here. Yeah. yeah. What is a bone? Line. Fell down. White line. That's yeah. That's clay. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's a little pipe there as well. It's like a more modern pipe. Just trying to, they're trying to get the water to come through so it doesn't build up. Okay. Tight squeeze. Yeah. Yeah, this is the bit I wasn't looking forward to. We just jinxed it. Oh, shit. Into clay and like mush it together. Yeah, and that's what's in three all day. Mmm. Watching boys with these rocks. This is the. <laughs> this is the sh the the shizer hole.
I mean, luckily I didn't have a big breakfast today. Yeah, you're good. I might not. I don't know. I think we're at boobs. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I didn't have any fat food this morning. I might be okay. Yeah. Um, so Dan said if we if uh, this doesn't work out, he's gonna pull us, pull us, and uh, suck us. So. That's great, yeah. Dan. Yeah. Thanks, Dan. I'm looking, looking forward to it more and more now. So I did this one time before in Washington. Yeah. And we found a girl on the other side, and it was like a crawl like this. That's right. Oh, but it was a crawl, was it? It was a crawl like yeah. this. I mean, how, she must have crawled up there then. Yeah, so it was a family in Germany. Yeah. And I guess they lost their, their kid. I saw the video, English. and she was like in the dark, just like yeah. silent, wasn't she? Yeah, she scared me. Well, she was yeah. just kind of walking around. Yeah, and she was like following other people that I maybe went, and when they went out, they just left the, I don't, I don't know. Mm. I just don't Did you find the birds though? Yeah, I mean, they were just like looking around. I, I don't really know, but we found That's them. not a good thing, is it like losing your child in a cave system? Oh, yeah, <laughs> you know, it's yeah. like, what? Yeah. People, people don't realize. Yeah, people yeah. don't realize that um, you go around one or two corners and, and suddenly you can't hear it anymore. Yeah, it's it's scary. Yeah. Oh, oh, no. No. I don't know if I want to do this. Yeah, I don't know. I think that kid didn't have to leave it in. We're not getting out. Yeah. That's the way out too. Yeah. Yeah. This is done. Well, it might be a good idea that somebody like myself stays behind in case you have a cave-in and then I can go get help. Hmm. I like that. I like the sound of that. I agree. Safety man. I need, you need a safety man like me. I agree. I think, I, to be fair though, after I crawl and see like five more minutes, yeah. mm, I can just get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I can get out. <laughs> what Dan isn't probably telling you is you get on the other side of that and it probably goes about 20 feet. He's just making you do it for the sheer... For the content. Yeah. Well, like, that's good. That's good, though. Oh, what do you think? Oh, I don't know. Maybe it is pretty deep. Has Dan already got through? Actually, I don't know, dude. If Danny's tight squeezing, I don't know if I can do it. Mm. I'll be honest. I think but, you will. You're but, not thinking of it though. No, I don't. You know, I don't. I, it's not that I don't think I can do it. I'm more like generally like, what if I get stuck? Like yeah, panic attack kind of thing. Because I can't scuba dive either. Like I have like weird like fears of it. I don't like small spaces. Yeah, small spaces like. Uh, so that's why in Thailand, if you uh, only OG OG fans will remember this. Uh, in Thailand, I did a whole documentary series of my uh, my life. It was my first ever out of the country vlogs. And I went to Thailand, I was gonna scuba dive, and I could not finish the course because I was getting like antsy and panicky. And it was just because of the whole trying to breathe underwater and just like being under too deep. It was just weird, it was just too much for me. I couldn't handle it. Mm. And it's just mind over matter, really. Like I think if I go now, it's been like eight years. I might, oh, it's been like six, six years. I might be able to do it, but I'm, I still feel the same as I did years ago. So this is definitely way out of my comfort zone. Um, we're gonna go in for it though, I gotta try it. It would be nice to like get over things and you know, grow. How far does it go on the other side? I mean, Buffy's having trouble. It's just, it's not the, the whole gosh, it's just slipping. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're going to give it an attempt, do you think? You're going to wait it out? I don't know. Because I, I, the thing is, well, I've got, a, I've got my stitches on my legs. So oh, right, yeah. I can use it as a good excuse. I've twisted it a couple of times on no, the I give explore. You, I give you the props for that. Yeah. I let it go. I mean, there's like clay coming down. This is great. All right, Josh. So, Dan, how far does it go on the other side? How many minutes do, would you walk and go? Uh, it's not walking, it's crawling. There's a lot of cool shit to see. Are you sure it's worth it? Because I can crawl this one time and call the video and make it great. Bro, you're going to have my shot from here coming up. It's a shot you want. I want the shot. So, 
You can take it off me. I can take it from you? Yep. Okay, hang on. <laughs> Alright, Seth, so right now, I'm gonna have you do a shot. It's gonna be a folder for Dan. He's gonna record me coming from this way up. Like, just take the shot, is what I'm saying, and put it in to make it look like I'm coming from the other side, because this is actually a good shot. I couldn't word that right, but you understand. Alright, what? Well, keep recording in your camera so you can keep your audio and just use my video. Alright, I'll do both. Just because I'm no good with my console, it'll be an audio difference. Okay, here I go. Oh, oh wow, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Dude! What? You guys look funny from here. <laughs> I can't. You guys do your hands in here? That's insane. Definitely the tightest one I've ever squeezed through in my life. Mm -hmm. I've only done it like twice. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly feel reborn again though. Those are the down road, those are down. Alright, we made it. I was trying not to use my hands. That's how we get out, we slide down. <laughs> Dan, I'm gonna stay here. How long do you think you could, are you gonna be? Are you not coming up here? Well, I think at my leg, I'm just looking, looking at my stitches, man. How, lo how long are you going to be? Uh, ten minutes. Okay, cool. Okay. I'll just, I'll just chill out then. Okay, man. I'll see you in a bit, man. Have fun. Oh, dude, that was fun. That was actually fun. Right, now that? I understand yeah. why people do it. Like for real. Yep. Go push this as well. Uh, Whoa. What's up? Fish Max. Hi, Evan, you hungry? No, I'm just going to do it. What's that? Right, you're going to eat it. I think so. You haven't known this. You haven't seen it in the picture. Yeah, I think it went down the back of your pants. What did you put here? No, it's a man. I got some cool. Mine's just, my pants are just cold underneath now. It's not wet. You feel them wet and dry. Yeah. The worst, the worst thing you can have is a hole. If you get a hole, your, your suit starts to fill up. Dude, this video is so good. This is why I came and fuck around you motherfuckers. Yeah. The things from you like drop. Oh. oh, that's fine. I'm getting the fuck out of here. You don't want to start carrying baby wipes. Yeah. You want to get out, it's like between your gear. Yeah. I'm going to start doing that when home soon. I've got some in my car, but I haven't got my yeah, car. My car was in there. Yeah. I know, yeah. I won't try to dead ones. I know. For wiping off the camera gear with all the muddy hands. Might have tissue paper. That was too. Yeah. It's all about just putting the water on it. Well, we, we'll be driving past lots of shops on the way back, and they only cost a pound to get a pack. Yeah, it's worth it. I'll get it. Yeah. yeah I want to get a couple of in my fridge. Yeah. Dude, this is sick, guys. Well, hey, we need to get you down to Bath then, don't we? We can have a look at the Bath Stone Quarry, the yeah. cannabis mines. Yeah. Whoa. Well, watch out. Whoa. Jesus. Yeah, keep on the That's like proper mud. Look at that. Keep Boing. Jeez. Dan, your camera is minging. Hang on. Oh my god, look at yeah. Dan's camera. Oh, look at the lens. Yeah. 
you want a bit of tissue paper? I, I'm not recording now. I'll, I'll finish off recording after, but yeah. Mate, you, you put your camera through it, didn't you? This is how it is after every exploded around. No. The amount of times I had to clean it, yeah. I spent, I spent about two hours cleaning it. Yeah, yeah. I've had to do it a few times. It's not easy, is it? No. That is the that's the most minging camera I've ever seen. Which is why when I go down, I usually have a pair of waterproof gloves, but I haven't got them today. And the good thing is, is I've actually coated you know, all of it in carbon fiber sticker, so it is actually protected mm. somewhat. Those um, this, that's the only thing I like really about the big Sony lenses. There's supposed to be waterproof seals in them, isn't there? Yeah. Yep. So in theory. You can get a bit of water on them, but I wouldn't like to test it out. I don't know if you can, any of you can actually hear me right now, because the noise down here when you're stomping around is pretty bad. God, oh, they're really racing ahead. Going for it. Look at them. They're like sewer rats running from uh, running from death. So this is the Pocket 2 camera. This is, oops, I just banged my head. That's why I'm lucky I've got this helmet on, look. Got the helmet. Yeah. So, it really pays to have a helmet on when you come down. They always say have a hard hat. But a bike helmet will do. If there's anything to stop you smacking your head, because you can knock yourself out and you can pretty badly cut yourself on these ceilings. I'm regularly nutting myself when I come down these places. That would have been one such an occasion just then. You'd hear me going, and screaming and shouting, blue murder. So do yourself a favor, folks, wear a hard hat when you come down. Although I've got to be honest, I prefer this bike helmet because it's got holes, so you don't end up getting sweaty. Hard hats are quite sweaty because they cover up the whole head and they don't let any air through, so this bike helmet is quite good. Lots of holes in it. Here we go. Here we go. Whoa. I always take my time when I'm walking in big things like this. I I put my foot down lightly before I put my weight on the foot. Whoa. I just splashed right on the camera. Oh, and again. Surely not. Yeah, literally. I wiped it off. Another splasher came down in exactly the same spot I just wiped off. Great. Ah. Oh. Clean it off. Clean off these dresses. Don't need that shit. Okay. No drippers. No drippers. Don't want any drippers. Drippers are not good. Because they go inside things.
There we go. It's all good. It's all good. Whoa. Slippity slip. Drip, drip, drip. Drip and slip. Oh my god. These drippers, man. I didn't have them as bad on the way in. Coming back now. Drip, drip, drip all over the camera. Again and again and again. Oh well. Maybe it's because I'm leaning my head over the camera, so it's kind of hitting my head, not the camera. Could be. Don't know. Try and navigate through these drips. This is like a, it's like an arcade game, like trying to navigate left and right like this through the drips. <laughs> I did pretty well on that that uh, round of avoid the drip. So. Yeah, see, it's just like trip, 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 trip. What? What? What's the hole? Oh my God! It's raining. Oh, spray. And now it's dry. That's good. That was the worst bit. Right there. And I've got some more drips on the camera. Whoa! Put somebody falling over then. The sound of splashing. See, that would have been two good smacks I'd given myself then, if I didn't have that helmet on. Oh, Coming! These guys are racing ahead now. They obviously want to get back to civilization. <laughs> Not allowed. No civilization allowed. This is cave quarry hell. You're not allowed to go home. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the ISO up and see what it's like with higher ISO. So it might get more grainy, but it's just a test. Right, I never realized that, but when you have D-Cine-like color on in this new camera, it will only go up to 1600 ISO. But when you don't have the d cine like on, you can go 3200 or 6400. I never realized that, but I was thinking, hang on, I'm sure it was 6400. It's like, yeah, d cine like So now you may have a lot more distant light, but it might be more grainy. So this is the acid test. We're going to run through some exposure settings here, folks. We'll show you in a real world with this light, this type of light real world what it's like what the quality is like let us know what you think in the comments bear in mind i'm not going to noise clean this okay this is as it comes from the camera and this is in the what's known as high quality recording mode which is 80 megabits per second okay so So, in a little bit, when we get further on, I'll try 3200. So you've already seen 1600 in decini like So we'll try 3200 in normal color. So, yay. All right, mate.
Yeah, your um, your leg tie is flopping down there. You might rip it off. <laughs> Sorry. Oh dear. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Well, my leg seems to be holding out so far. Fingers crossed, no nasty slips now, and I'll be okay. Oh yeah, preparing us for the for the nasties to come, look. These are not these are these are nothing compared to what we're going to do in a minute. So, okay. Oh, you can hear the drippers down there. So, I'm going to try 3200 now. So, so. 3200 ISO in normal color. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Chasm down there, folks. Chasm gasm. I'm having a chasm gasm, Dan. Look at that camera. That's quality bit of uh, electronic en entertainment equipment, folks. This is where the magic happens. That's where the magic happens. It's still going to be okay. What do you think of that one? 
<laughs> it's like S Seth just edited out the swear words. That's a good picture for you. I like that a lot. Yeah, man. Sorry. Big butt as well. Did it hit you? I cannot. I cannot go down with that bat going on. I'm gonna cross this. Yeah, yeah. I can't cross with that bat. Come back down, dude. I would have flinched and fell if the bat came. And no. this Josh in the face. Yeah, I was. It's on video. video. No, they're, they're only little little uh, things. Just imagine that it's just like uh, fudge, but with wings. Yeah, yeah? no eyes. Uh, they have got eyes. Yeah, the, the hills have eyes, mate. Did you catch it on film? Yeah, watch. It went quick, but it was closer. But it didn't probably slow more down. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Who's going? Duncan. Thank you very much, sir. Right, so. Can you imagine? That was the instant, though. If that would have came while I'm doing that, would it hit me? I would have probably flinched. Wow. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that down there, folks. Down, 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 down. Can you even see down there? I don't know whether you can see down there. Can you see down there? This is 6400 ISO. Do you know what? That's not bad, actually. That is not bad. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. What does it look like? <laughs> I got it going at Danny. Here he goes. Dan's coming. Don't move, come back. Don't come back, bro. Yeah, reverse. reverse. Do a do a break dance on the on the thing, man. Break dance. I might be able to turn the knee, I swear to God. I spotted it first and then Don't look at me, look to the left now. Okay, well, now that's pretty much. Good luck, For anybody who didn't catch it first time, right? This drops down onto a ledge, then there's a hole. And it goes to you cannot see the bottom. It's just like so that's like hundreds of feet, first. hundreds of feet, four hundred feet. There we go. That's, that's the yeah. So over nine thousand, folks. You heard it here, folks. Over nine thousand. All your base belong to us. There he is. It's the, it's the Joshinator. We didn't die. No. We didn't die. Yeah. <laughs> live, live, live to film another day. Yeah. All right, so this is plus plus okay. three exposure. We were on plus one exposure before. Okay. Sneaking into the into the famous bat cave. Bro, Dan, come here. Fuck stuff. Can you send me that little bit of a clip of the bat? Yeah. Chasing it. Yeah. Doesn't that look good? You guys not pass off as you. I'm posting it. I'll send it to you too. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's so good. What is it? The best shot. Sorry, man. Yeah, Thank you. Yeah, I might sell that shot, man. Yeah, that's me. That's actually me. Yeah. Yeah. I claim copyright on that if Dan tries to use it. Yeah. Yeah. You see me on that. I saw it. Yeah. Thanks, bro. Dude, that's. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I actually really can't wait to post. So you know, you know who your friends are when tonight. your footage goes out and they claim a copyright on it. You know who your friends are then. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not posting it yet. This wire somewhere. Oh, 
Yeah. That's it. That looks like, oh shit. I have to kneel. There's no way to get out of here without kneeling or anything. Well guys, we have made it to the exit. And we came in with the daylight. And uh, yeah, I'll get my camera out without getting wet. We've been in here for like three or four hours. It's been a long time. Whoa. Whoa, that's something. Whoa. Whoa. It's windy up here now. My my legs are all like jelly. Oh, it's not wind, it's the sound of the river. Whoa. What a really good idea, so this is plus three, normal color, 6400 ISO. So, what have we got? Can you see the hills over there? There's hills over there. Quite far away, but with this headlight on, full brightness. Yeah, you can kind of see a bit of the hills now with the head bright headlight. And if I put on the big boy, yeah, you got it. You're there. You were there. Yeah. So this is where we are at night. It's all good, Danny. Whoa, look at that. Off the edge to the car. Right, so that's it. We've achieved that one. I think we did pretty well. Well, so hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, <laughs> they're messing around doing their film out outros now. But hopefully, uh, you saw everything there in good quality. And uh, this is the DJI Pocket 2, real world test. Uh, certainly very stable, uh, good autofocus. Um, pretty much uh, trouble free I think and uh, we just got to see whether or not the colors look good in the DC and you like in the, the ISO so let me know, know what you think in the comments below thanks very much for watching secret vault don't like don't subscribe don't come in the chat room and definitely don't give me any super chats that's bad you teach me bad habits see you later